Alright, back again. Doing a little talk about the hydraulic remotes on my tractor. I had a lot of people ask me questions about, you know, this and that on it. Uh, can it be that simple to, to fix? And yes, it can. Uh, this is the plate that was sitting on top of my hydraulic reservoir over there with the seat. Put the seat up here so you can see better. Sorry about the wind, but it was sitting here, four bolts, a bolt on each corner, and there's a small bolt in the middle you gotta take out too. That's what it looked like before. And on the underside, there's all these ports that fit on there. And these are O-rings that fit in the grooves on there. The underside of this plate here that you'll receive from Steiner almost exactly like this. The only difference is between here and these two is a groove. There's not two separate ports, there's just a groove. But you get an extra one of these large O-rings and you just take and press it together and it fits right in there. It's uh, tight and that seals that up. But basically you take that plate mounted on there I took my seat off so I could get at it better and I had to cut a notch out of my seat support anyway but you take your seat off you mount that you clean your surfaces up real good of course mount that on there tighten your bolts down and that's all there is to putting the plate on now you get two hydraulic lines that come with it I ran mine under here just so it'd be more out of the road but you can go over the top I suppose put some uh, plumber's tape on it like pipe tape on both ends where the threads are thread them in the longer one goes in the front here of course both of those there's a bracket that fits on your differential you take two bolts out of the top of your differential there put the bracket in place put the bolts back in that's all there is to putting the bracket on you feed your lines up through the hole in the bracket and put your connector on the other side and tighten it down and that holds your line in your bracket both of them keep your plugs in there so you keep contamination out of the uh, system you don't want to get uh, gook and dirt in your hydraulic system it's, uh, contaminants are the easiest way to goof a hydraulic system up uh, like I said, I had to cut a notch in my seat to get the seat to fit back on, but that was no big deal. Uh, this T thing here also is the neg negates one of these lines. I forget which one it is. It tells you in the instructions. But you screw this in, and it turns one of the lines off. So if you're using a single action cylinder, you only need one port, one hookup. You're not putting when uh, like you're letting your implement down and the fluid is flowing back in. You're not putting pressure on your other line. That's kind of bad for your pump and for the line and causes leaks and stuff. Well, that turns that other line off, so you don't have to worry about that. And when you're done, you want to use double action again, a double action cylinder again, just crank it back out. So there's not that much to it. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, the first time you like hook your cylinder to it and use it, you got air in your system, so it's going to react slow. If you run, but run it, the cylinder in and out a couple times, and then it runs perfect. Uh, really, that's just about all there is to it. I got it off Steiner. I'm going to put a a uh, what you call it a, a low. Uh, thing on uh, you can click on to if you want to look at the product thing. I don't I'm not recommending anything Per se just I bought it off Steiner. I'm happy with it You know if, if you want to look at it, that's fine. It's up to you guys. The other thing I will uh, Talk about is uh, I came across a company called uh, Red Rock and they sell tractor parts and he's kind of a got a neat little setup. He sells these for your gas tank on the 600 and 800, and that works on the 2000 and 4000. My gas gauge was broke when I got the tractor, and I put a new sending unit in. I put a new 
gauge on there and uh, it works it's inaccurate as all get out I just don't have a good enough flow of uh, juice through it that and uh, they're notorious for not working right put it that way but uh, the way it works is this is connected to the positive on a post on this gauge and there's a lead from this gauge over to the sending unit and then the sending unit is attached to the tank which is grounded to the tractor and in the sending unit there's a little float with a lever that goes up and down where your fuel level is and that allows more current to go through and less current and the amount of current going through is how the gauge moves to full and half and everything else and that uh, that basically is how the system works and I, either my sending unit's not good anymore or it's getting bad or the gauge is bad because like I said they're, they're not made for uh, lasting for forever I guess but this I can take the cap off and drop in there and it fits in just like a regular cap and tells you exactly what you've got fuel wise and uh, the only trouble with it is back in the wind again so I don't know the only trouble with it is my tank uh, sits high and the cap is real thin and low when you put this in here it sits about an eighth of an inch higher and you can only close, close my thing about so far and first I thought well I'll cut a hole or make a big blister or something you know kind of pound it out a little bit but I don't know I don't know if I want to do that I can always just drop that in there and get a quick estimate of what I've got how how it, uh, it's not that big a deal I know exactly how much gas is in it but this is a sending unit I was talking about you take this collar twist it and lift it out and there's a a gasket and everything but this whole piece just lifts out and the arms on it it's not that hard to do you just want to make sure you got all your blow out all your dust and dirt you can get out before you take that out so you don't get it falling down in your tank and there's a lead going back to there I don't know I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do I really don't want to change the appearance of the tractor too much but uh, I think I might, might be able to, like I say, raise that up just a little bit. That won't be that noticeable. Something like that. Don't know. Ponder it somewhere down the road, like I said, because uh, I'm not uh, not sure just what I'm going to do. Exactly. Also, uh, the other thing I should say, like I say, sell some neat stuff. There's people who've done stuff to tractors over the years kind of sells it for them. But they have a device, I'll put a link to it too, mounts on here that goes back to the back left brake and goes down to the left pet or right pedal or left brake here and right brake here. Now you pull the lever up, it moves the linkages, pushes the brakes down, goes the brake. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. So leave that link to but I'm getting cold and my hands are cold and ready to put her back in the barn so uh, you guys have a good day thank you